central to supporting patients, carers, our colleagues, everyone around us during this time is compassion. What, what is compassion? Compassion has four behavioural elements to it. The first is if someone is in distress, of being present with them, of attending to them, listening to them with fascination, as Nancy Klein says. Second is understanding the causes of their pain, their distress, their fear, their anxiety. Third is having an empathic response, feeling at some level their pain without being overwhelmed by it. And that gives us the motivation for the fourth element of compassion, which is intending to help or serve the other person. And what we know about people's stress at work, particularly during prolonged periods of very high demands, which is what we are now facing, is that colleagues around make the most enormous difference to people's well-being. So we see that teamwork has an enormous impact on people's well-being. If we work in a team that meets regularly and is relatively cohesive, stress levels are 50% lower. And, and fundamental to that effect is the social support that our colleagues provide us. So at this time, it's really important that all of us have the intent to be compassionate towards those we work with now and in the coming weeks and months, being positive to each other, being supportive. Humour is a great source of support in the workplace when it's uh, a gentle humour rather than uh, a, an unpleasant humour and civility, just being civil to each other, even you know, to people we don't know particularly well. It's so important to be civil and kind and friendly and small gestures make an enormous difference. I remember last year talking to a doctor from an A&E department who was telling me she had just the most awful day and felt really at breaking point and then somebody who she didn't know, a nurse came up to her and offered her a cup of tea. And it said, she said it just changed the whole nature of her day. So it's really important that we, during this period, are, are vigilant about being kind to each other, to those we work with. Compassion and self-compassion are core to our ability as health and care workers to get us all through this crisis and to come out the other end stronger, better, wiser, not just with an even more profoundly good health system, but a better society overall.